welcome to the beautiful Illaroo Campgrounds. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. So I'm inland from Grafton in New South Wales. Took a big drive today and I've got the Truby set up at the campground. Tomorrow I'm going to go and tra tackle, tackle the sand on track about 8.5 k's of beach. So that should be pretty cool. I've never really done a southern beach before, plenty of northern beaches. Um, and also be my um, deadly hairstyle going on. Also, it will be the, my first fall driving in the Troopy, so that should be pretty cool. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, she's all set up for me to have a little camp tonight. I'm gonna have a nice cold rum and enjoy the view before the sun goes down. So stay tuned, see you tomorrow. All right, so the low tide's at um, two o'clock. So I wanna get going a couple of hours before the low. And um, so I'm just heading down the road, down to the beach. A little Navara just headed off down here, but he's, um, got a lot less weight on him than I do. I'll just have a little look at the beach, see where we're at. Um, I'll have some brekkie and we'll take off, see how we go. There's not a lot of beach here to drive on and um, it's quite wet from the big high tide. So there's gonna get a, car's gonna need a good wash at the end of it. So let's have a look. See the little Navaris tracks there. As you can see, there's not a lot of actual beach. It's been some pretty wild weather down the coast. Can't see these guys anymore. They're way down already. Probably been waiting about an hour already, and it doesn't actually look like it's moved by at all. But um, yeah, there's enough to drive on there now, so might little have a little scrambled egg or something and um, make my way. Beach driving 101. Of course, you've got to let your tyres down before you head out on the beach. So. I'm just going to do that now. I've got a special device I've bought here from um, Kmart actually. Here we go. Okay, I've let a bit of air out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't normally drive around with much air in my tyres as it is, but this, um, I've only had the car, I don't know, it's probably, oh, it's well over a month now. Haven't got any recovery gear or anything like that. So yeah, I'm really prepared for some epic four wheel driving today. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I, if I have to, I'll let more out. The sand is really wet because the tides have been coming up really high and also there's fresh water coming out of the cliffs. So it doesn't look like any soft sand. Uh, if there is, I'll just jump out. I'll let a bit more air out and just take it steady. It's 8.5 Ks. Like I said, the Navara's already took off up the beach guy at the campground assured me this thing will go anywhere so um if anyone's going to get it stuck or whatever it'll be me trust me i'm pretty good at driving into ditches and holes and stuff so here we go Terrain. All 
up, decided to be at the hospital um, in Tugan and so blessed to have been able to spend that time with her but um, starting to feel a little bit closed in and I needed to get out and have a little reset so I found this special little spot and here I am and I, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't rather be anywhere else right now so yeah. I believe we've hit the end of the beach. So just this little um, rocky headland to climb up here now looks pretty easy. I've just put it in a full low just in case. I'm not sure what's at the top and I'll get off the beach. I just pulled up at the roadside. I noticed a little bit this earlier of this earlier. Um, they've laid 1080 baits throughout the National Park here. And this is a very, very familiar looking uh, sign that we're used to seeing in Cape York little pig's trotter there there must be a few of them because I noticed it when um, I first started driving in yesterday cheeky buggers welcome to Sandon beautiful sleepy little fishing town apparently it's like a place I could spend uh, a bit of time Another load. I've been out collecting pippies. It's hard work. I'm probably not gonna be able to walk tomorrow. And um, I thought oh, I better, not that I had very many, two pocketfuls. Better check the, um, the ruling on pippies, collecting pippies, because I've never done it before. And turns out that you can collect pippies for bait, but you cannot collect pippies for human consumption in New South Wales. So um not going to be using my pippies for bait and i'm not going to come in here and disrespect the beautiful national park so <laughs> i'm taking my pippies back to set them free uh i hope this is okay the time in the old pocket never heard anybody did it anyway um follow the rules hey all right pippies i'm going to set you free hang on maybe a little bit more water I'm on now that takes you through to that beautiful Willow campground in Sandon Beach. Sandon Beach, I just can't, it's just too much for me. Anyway, um, yeah, and it's a beautiful little campground there. I'd suggest you're going to stay there looking ahead because the lady I spoke to last night said it's really, really busy there, and I can imagine because it is just beautiful. All right, I am going to head to Willaroo, Willaroo, Willaroo now. I think it's Willaroo. So that's it for the beach driving today and that's it for today's adventure and uh, yeah, hopefully this next spot um, brings another whole adventure for me and the troopy I'm just loving. Turn right onto Mini Water Road.